hello Pisces viewers. Just going to get right into it. Just whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out. As always, I'm doing private readings too. So if you'd like a private reading, just email me at dragonenchantress at awol.com. That email is right below in the description box. Got Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, Temperance, King of Wands, Two of Cups, King of Swords. Hmm, it's interesting energy here. Let's see. I feel like somebody wants a new beginning with you, and there's a lot of passion here with the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands. You might get a love message. But I feel like somebody is trying, and it feels like a King of Wands who's trying to find this balance. They don't want to come on too strong, but they don't want to be casual either. They don't want to make small talk. This could be someone that you've you know, been making small talk with, like maybe you're like friends and it just hasn't really gone anywhere. Or it could be someone from your past where it's like you check up on each other. But there's just there's this energy of like not wanting to make small talk anymore. They want to have deeper conversations, but they feel like they're not sure where you're at. Like they do want this new beginning with you, but they're just trying to find that balance so that they communicate properly. So that they, you know, they don't want to scare you off and say too much if you're not feeling it. But they, they also don't want to say too little and have you just not realize how they feel about you. This this does feel like for some, this could be somebody that you're friends with. Um, or somebody that you work with. Somebody that, because I just get this energy that they have a lot to lose is kind of what I'm feeling so, and that would make sense in like a work context, like if it's someone or, or someone where you have to like maybe at school or something like that, where it's like you have to see them on a regular basis. So if you reject them, it's going to be really awkward because I feel like maybe this person's dropped hints in the past, but you just didn't even realize that they were trying to uh, come on to you. Like you didn't really recognize how they felt because they weren't saying enough. Um, for those of you that this isn't like a friend or coworker who wants to take things to the next level, I feel like this could be somebody who's just like an ex or somebody where they're not sure where you're at. They're not sure if you would want to give this a second chance. Um, they don't want to get rejected. They don't want to come on too strong, but, but they're, they don't want to keep making small talk. They don't want to keep going in circles. They feel like a conversation needs to be had. They feel like somebody really needs to Someone needs to speak. Someone needs to, more needs to be said. It, it feels like a, like a lot is being held back. Maybe by both of you. Maybe you guys are both holding a lot back and not saying what needs to be said. Um, let's see what the energy is here, though. We have two of cups, king of swords. Just a seven of swords. Okay. For some, I feel like you might have a third party. You might have like a king of swords and they're afraid of that. They they don't want to deal with the drama. They don't know if you're still open to them. Um, but for the majority of you, I feel like this is actually another aspect of their own personality, the king of swords. Where it's, it's kind of like this person's fighting with themselves right now. They're fighting with themselves because they want this passionate start with you. They want to send a love message. They want to, you know, get this relationship moving they, they want more with you. And this could even be like a friends with benefits situation where somebody is, is starting to have feelings for you and they're, they're wanting to, you know, be official with you. You know, there's, there's a few different scenarios here. But I feel like this person wants to make you that love offer. They see you as like a soulmate, twin flame. You know, they, they want that with you, but I feel like they're fighting this other aspect of their personality, the King of Swords, because I feel like this is a type of person who's, they're very sensitive, but I feel like they kind of try to be tough. You know, they try to be like a Queen or King of Swords type. They try to, it's, this is somebody who acts like they have, have it all together. 
they might not be very open with their emotions. They, they might not, they might kind of have this mentality of seeing emotions as weakness, you know, not wanting to be too vulnerable. And, and so they're kind of at war with themselves where they like, they know that they need to make this love offer, but I, f I feel like if they feel rejected at all, it's like they go into this like king or queen of swords mode and they, they're just honest. They lie about their feelings. If they feel like there's a chance you're going to hurt them or reject them, or maybe you don't feel the same way about them. It's like, that's when they go into this, this king of swords, seven of swords energy where they're, you know, they put a wall up and they don't tell you how they feel or they're, they lie about their feelings. Like they don't, you know, like they just, they hold back, they escape, they run. And then they regret that though, because then with the five of cups, it's like they, you know, you walk away from them. Like they end up losing you when they do that because you're not willing to tolerate that. For some, they might even be playing hard to get. Like, I feel like Maybe they think people like the king or queen of swords type. Like maybe they think that's attractive. And so they, you know, this person is actually a king or queen of wands, but they pretend to be this other person. And, you know, you kind of see through that and you don't like that, but they hold on to that, that defense. Um, but it seems like a cycle that's continuing where we're, if this is somebody that you're friends with or like a coworker, it kind of might be like they flirt with you and then when you when you start picking up on it, when you start feeling like, oh, like maybe my maybe my best friend like has feelings for me, or maybe this person like maybe this person's flirting, that's when they like just pull back and like they get scared or they get like shy. They just get I get like a major like anxious feeling. And they pull back and they they go into this energy and they start, you know treating you differently or just being very casual, just kind of leaving you confused, you know, not really making much sense to you or they brush it off like you feel like they were flirting, but they, they said that they just talk like that to everybody. It's something like that. For others, like if this is an ex, I just feel like maybe in the past when things have gotten deeper, when you guys, when you've kind of, they kind of have a soft spot for you. So I feel like maybe in the past when things got you know too emotional too real for them it's like they just they resorted to this energy they pretended like they didn't feel the same or they um might have been lying sabotaging like old patterns for some this could even be a past life pattern where they lost you like you might have died in a past life or you might have left them in a past life and so they have this deep wounding. They have this really deep fear of you abandoning them again. Because it's like the cycle keeps repeating where it's, it's like you guys start being on the same page. You start being vulnerable. It's like when, when things start taking off, that's when they, they sabotage again and then they end up losing you. And so they're seeing that, that that's not, they're seeing that they need to stop doing that. that you guys are just kind of on a merry-go-round right now. This could be someone also realizing that you actually do not want what you can't have. Like this could be someone that was in that mentality of thinking that this energy would attract you. And now they're recognizing every time they play games, every time they try to be someone they're not, that's when you end up leaving them. And so it's really best for them to just be their true self. The emperor. Yeah, this person's realizing that if they want to keep being stubborn and hard-headed, if they want to keep you know, being stuck in their ways and, and thinking they have it all figured out, their wishes are not going to come true. They're not going to be able to manifest what they want. Yeah, because you're going to be guarded. They're recognizing that. They're rec I think that they're also recognizing that you're going to match their energy. Whereas I, I feel like some of you must have, let's see, I feel like a lot of you must have put this person in their place. Now, if this was like a coworker or a friend, because like I said, there's a few different storylines here. It's, you know, it's the same energy group, but there's different variations of this story. But if this was like a coworker or someone that you're friends with, 
I feel like in the past they probably confused you because you're like, like, I think this person actually likes me. But then every time you guys, every time it got real, every time they, you know, opened up or if it's like a friends with benefits, it's like every time they got kind of romantic with you, like if you reciprocated, if you opened up, it's like they got scared and they ran and they sabotaged. And I feel like in the past, like you were just kind of confused, like you just kept trying to figure out why this person I feel like you were just like really unsure how this person felt about you like you might have asked mutual friends if there was even an attraction or an interest there I feel like you were just really in your head about this person like you really did not understand their behavior and I feel like you know like whenever they would pull back it's like you would keep trying you would try to figure out what went wrong you would try to do things differently and I feel like that gave them that control over you. But it, it, and I, feel, I feel like they did this for a couple different reasons. Um, I really do feel like they thought that that energy would be attractive. Like they thought that they, they wanted the control. But they wanted the control because they didn't want you to leave them. It, it, it's like a fear of abandonment where they thought... It's a fear of abandonment. It's it's also the the other motive I'm getting is a fear of rejection. For some, it's like if they started being vulnerable with you and you kind of, you know, were flirting back and being vulnerable, they were afraid that they misread the signs or that um you know, just just afraid of of getting hurt, afraid of being rejected. So they would kind of just it, it's like they would go after it. They would put, you know, put their feelers out there and then they would just pull back. Um, and like I said, for others, there was the, the fear of abandonment, the fear of it's, it's like they wanted that control. They wanted to keep you chasing them. They didn't want you to um, take them for granted or pull away or, you know, get scared if, if you found out how, how they felt about you. It just feels like they felt like they had a lot to lose, which, which again makes a lot of sense for, you know, especially in like the context of this being someone that you have to see on a regular basis or like if you have a lot of mutual friends. It's one of those situations where it could be really embarrassing for them if they misread the signals and you're actually not interested in them. But um, but anyway, I feel like this last time around, I feel like the tables have turned. Like, I feel like you did things differently. So so like I was saying in the past, I feel like you would kind of like you would you were just confused and you kept trying to figure it out. And I feel like you've stopped trying to figure it out. Like, I feel like you started matching this person's energy. So if if they flirt with you and then they pull back, you you don't you don't try to figure it out. You don't ask questions anymore. You don't you know, flirt more to try to get out a reaction out of them and try to get them back to that energy they were in before. I feel like you, you just, you're just blank. Like this person can't, basically this person cannot get a reaction out of you anymore. Like, I feel like whatever you're doing is working. Like it, it's, you took the power back. The ball is in your court now. You know, and for some, you might be flirting with other people and they're seeing that, um, you know, they're, they're kind of just having this recognition that you're not waiting anymore, that you're not doing this little cutesy high school back and forth, you know, in and out game um, with them. It's I'm, I'm hearing I'm hearing that song Hot and Cold by Katy Perry. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> um, but anyway, anyway, yeah, it's like you're you're just doing things differently. You're not giving them the same time and attention and energy. Because I get almost a little, I don't feel like this person is super toxic. I mean, I feel like this person can be manipulative to a degree. But I feel like most of that comes from abandonment wounds, childhood wounds, you know, fear of being hurt, fear of being rejected. I mean, it doesn't make it okay. But I'm just saying this person's not like evil. They don't have like sneaky, you know, crazy hidden motives. It's just more just not wanting you to leave. And, and again, a lot of that stems from for some of you from a past life where you died or you left them for somebody else. And so this lifetime, now that you found each other, it's like they're just desperate to hold on to that control and not lose you again. But yeah, I just get like a, a deer in headlights kind of energy where, um, and I see someone like moving boxes, like moving boxes together or helping each other move or something like that. But, um, but anyway, yeah, I, I just get this energy where it's like they're trying those same old mind games that worked before. Like maybe before they might say, oh, I'm going out with my friends tonight. Like, or like, like they might say little things to try to see if you'd care, see if you get jealous. 
And now, even if you are jealous, you're acting like you don't even notice it. Like you're not, you're not giving that, you're, you're, you've, you've kind of learned the patterns with this person and you kind of, you, you, you've recognized that now. So it's, it's like you, you're not going to enable that. You're, you're almost teaching them a new behavior in a way. You're letting them know energetically through your body language, through what you do, through what you don't do, that that's not going to work on you. That's not going to get your attention, you know, making you jealous, hurting you, pushing you away, um, you know, just, just flirting with you and then, and then pulling back and running. Like you're, you're let, like you've jumped off that roll, that merry-go-round with them and they know it. They can sense that. They can sense that the things that got a reaction out of you are not working on you anymore. Like body language and things that they would say, things they would do. It's, it's like, you're not, you're, even if you notice it, you're pretend you're looking the other way. You're pretending like you don't. You know, like if they're trying to make you jealous, you're acting like it just, you don't even, don't even care. Um, and so I think this is actually waking this person up because they're, they're realizing that if they want to keep being the emperor, if they want to keep being prideful and stubborn and holding on to control issues, that this wish is not going to come true. And you're going to match their energy. You're going to be in the queen of swords energy. Because like I said, you took your power back male or female you took your power back so it, it's like you change things up you know what I mean like last time around when they played that game when they came in and they you know were open and it, they seemed like they wanted this and then you open yourself up and they did the same thing as before they pulled back that time around you didn't chase them you didn't beg for them to come back you didn't you didn't try to figure it out you you stepped back and you focused on yourself. You focused on, you know, hobbies or having fun or just doing things with friends. Some of them might have thought that you would be upset over them or, or that something, I feel like something happened where they felt like you would have a big reaction to it. And I feel like you just went and like traveled or you like went and hung out with friends or you just, you, you did not give them a reaction they were expecting to get, um, which is a really good thing because it's like now they're realizing you know, you're teaching them. It's basically like you're training them almost where, you know, they, they, they see now like that's not going to work if they want to get you back. You're not going to do that anymore with them. Your energy has let them know that you're not playing those games with them anymore. And that if they come to you in this energy, you're going to be in this energy. You're going to match them with the, with, you know, the queen of swords. You're going to be guarded. You're going to be cold. If they want the queen of cups, if they want you in that you know, loving, empathetic, gentle, vulnerable energy again, they're going to have to give you a safe space to be in that energy. Yeah, this needed to happen, I feel like, because some of you might have gone through, I feel like some of you are, are confused about why it went down the way it didn't. I feel like it had to happen that way. Like you had to have this tower moment. Tower is like drama, chaos, overnight change. And then the Knight of Swords is somebody you know, with honor, integrity, loyalty, somebody making these vows. And I feel like they're making these vows to you now, or they're wanting to make these vows to you now, because that old foundation crumbled, thanks to you pulling your energy back and doing things differently, not giving them a reaction, focusing on yourself, you know, and it wasn't like, it, it wasn't like, you know, you two making each other jealous. It was like, if they were trying to make you jealous, you just didn't even engage. You just acted like you were just, just not even phased by it. You know what I mean? Um, cause some of them might be like on social media, trying to make you jealous, like trying to do stupid little things here and there to get, to see what you'll do, you know, to see if you'll, to see if you'll flip out or if you'll say something like for those of you that are in a more serious connection with this person. But, um, but yeah, that old foundation had to crumble. Like what, what was, you know, the, the connection between you two, the way that you guys are communicating, it's like you were just, you were in this cycle. It, it just, you kept going around and around with this person where, you know, every time they would open up, it's like they would, when you opened up, they pulled back. They, they kept, they kept, you know, control issues basically. And so that foundation had to crumble. There had to be a new foundation built. And you're showing them right now, just again, just by being yourself, just by being, you know, hanging out with your friends, exploring your hobbies, just living your best life, 
just not letting them control you. You're, you're showing them that if they want you, they have to come to you in this new energy. And so I feel like they are doing it. They are wanting to do that, to to make these promises, to, to have loyalty, honor, integrity, because this old foundation crumbled. And now, you know, they can't go back to that. They're realizing they can't go back to that. They're realizing, I mean, they're realizing those things won't work on you anymore. So they have to build a new foundation with you if they want you. Yeah, two of wands, a uh, long, you know, long-term focus. Yeah, hey, man, new perspective, letting go of old ways of being, new perspective. Yeah, letting go of that devil energy. Letting go of third parties, also letting go of the devil energy, letting go of just those old ways of communicating, those those games. Those games do not work on you. Yeah, they want to build with you. They want to get serious about this now. I feel like you you I feel like you really um scared them too. I feel like they didn't really feel like they would lose you before. They felt like it was fine. And I think Whatever you've said or done, even if you haven't said anything, if it's just your energy, I, I feel like you're really sending the message like, hey, buddy, like we're not I'm not doing that with you again. We're not we're not doing that again, male or female. Either way, it's like you're you're sending that message to this person that you're just you, you're too, you're too old for these games. You want more out of life. If they're not giving it to you, you're going to you're going to go meet someone who is ready who, for a commitment for someone who is, you know, ready to step up. And yeah, this person is wanting to build something with you here. They want that stability. It could be marriage even. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Page of Swords. Yeah, they know that they're going to have to be patient and perseverant with you because you're you're standing your ground now. You're not you're not making this as easy for them. And I mean, it's good. It's good to find that balance. It's good to be open with them, but not be not just let them come right back in just just like that. You know what I mean? Like if they make an effort, like talk to them, hear them out. But, you know, don't be don't I mean, I don't want to say don't forgive them, but like make sure that they know that they can't ever do that to you again. You know what I mean? Find that balance. Um, Son of Wands, Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to win you back over and they want to build something with you. Judgment and the Eight of Swords. Hmm. I think they're also realizing how they kept themselves trapped. I think this person's really recognizing that like they didn't need to sabotage this. Like they're feeling like a fool. They didn't. They didn't need to. Like they. They know that you, that they have to fight for you because of what they've done. Like they, you know what I mean. Like they understand that. They understand that you are not like they. They underestimated you. They thought that the same games that worked with other people would work with you, and they just didn't. You're the high priestess. You're you know ten of pentacles. You're abundant. You're you're everything, and they're they're seeing that now. Ace of cups. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're wanting to be vulnerable. Like I said, I think they're recognizing that, you know, their toxic way of playing games with you and trying to control you and trying to keep you from moving on, keep you from abandoning them, that it doesn't work. And they're realizing that if they want to hold on to you, the best way to do that is to open their heart to you. And that's what's really going to make you open up to them again. Is, is their willingness to be vulnerable, their willingness to be consistent. So they are making these changes. And right now they're just trying to figure out how to put these changes into action and how to how to come forward and uh, communicate with you. So it's, yeah, it's a good energy overall. Um, as I said, I do private reading. So if you'd like one, just email me. My email is below in the description box dragon enchantress at awol.com uh, please comment on the video like share subscribe like it gets me back in the youtube algorithm so i appreciate the the engagement thank you guys for watching